So hello everyone, it's Zork Rider here and welcome to another week in toys. And as you can see, I've set my do for recording and uh, it's the only place I can put it in my bleeding car to be honest with you. Um, but I'm on my way to a little toy shop and that little toy shop is of course Smith's Toys. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And the reason for that is of course that they've got some more toys in stock. Wave 2 is well and truly landing. Wave 2, um, if you don't know, consists of Double Dealer as a leader. I believe it includes Quinson Judge and Snapdragon as the Deluxes, uh, sorry, the Voyagers, and then Deluxes of Airwave, Smokescreen, Alicon, and RC. Um, Smith doesn't seem to stop the Battle Masters for some reason, don't know why that is, uh, but they don't seem to stop them. Um, but they're slowly starting to trickle through these toys. Um, Snapdragon hit the other week. Double Deal has been there for a while. Smokescreen came into stock last week for home delivery and is starting to appear in stores. And uh, yeah, um, this morning, uh, I saw some rumours last night, sorry, before we get to this morning, of the Quinter Sun Judge appearing. And then uh, I checked Smith's this morning, my local one in Warsaw, and they have it in stock. Um, so I clicked and collected it this morning and, and I popped out after work in order to go and get it. Um, now, little confession to make, I have already got this pre-ordered through uh, Comics and Cocktails, only for the 10% deposit which was about 2 quid. So I'm in two minds whether to cancel that pre-order or just get a second one, because let's face it, you probably need a couple of these to fit into a couple of displays like the my movie masterpiece display i might use it in that as well as my truck display so, so i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet um, but i've pre-ordered it it's 23.99 and uh, i'm really looking forward to uh to getting my hands on it but i thought why i was on the road i would uh just talk a little about some stuff that's going on and then we'll we'll cut to smiths and the rest of the week in toys when i get there um so uh there's been a couple of reveals and a couple of leaks this week uh so the next exclusive has been re uh, released or, or yeah been announced uh this one was the final uh, reveal tuesday which was um I think for Entertainment Earth, uh, and essentially it's a two-pack of a Voyager, or you might want to call him a leader, uh, Optimus Prime and Ratchet, so we get both of that mould yet again, um, but uh, this is in the context of Shattered Glass, so we get a Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, and we also get a Shattered Glass Ratchet. Now, we've had numerous Shattered Glass Primes over the years. Uh, I recently had the MP1, well, a KO of the MP1, which I sold on a couple of months ago. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, Shattered Glass figures, uh, masterpieces. Uh, so I had the KO Optimus Prime. I had, I think it was a KFC transistor in Shattered Glass colours. And also uh, the... Uh, the X9 Terra, which is the Rodimus Prime version. Um, now, I've actually sold on two of those, a KO Prime and the, the Blaster of God. I've still got the DX9 uh, Terra because it's a great, great figure. Um, but we are starting to get more of these subsets in, in, in the main line, and especially in the Select series. I mean, if you're going back to Power of the Primes, we had Rodimus Unicronus, which is Shattered Glass. Now we're getting these two. Uh, and it's nice to see that we're not just getting G1 versions of these characters. We are branching out into other into other lines and we're seeing more of that with obviously Kingdom and with Beast Wars but I'm really hoping we start to get some of the Unicron Trilogy stuff over time and more G2 of course you know I'm a massive massive fan of G2 so I was a little bit relieved uh, because it's the second one the second um, reveal over the last couple of weeks that I haven't felt the need to, to pre-order. I mean, the price is pretty good at 48 quid for essentially a Voyager and a Deluxe, so that's pretty good. Um, but um, a bit like the, uh, I forget the names now, the Sunstreaker Repack 2 back, I haven't pre-ordered it, I don't really feel the need to. Uh, I have been worrying that Thrust will be in one of these bleeding two packs, um, but, yeah, we'll just wait and see. 
Now, I think I did see a link to images one, but I'll try and find it of another Selects figure of a Transformers Prime 2 pack 10th anniversary with a breakdown, and I think it's a Vehicon. So these are obviously going to be repaints of something uh, War for Cybertron based. Uh, maybe break down as um, the Ironhide mold again, maybe. And this is what I would be interested in. I want to see what it's like, but I really like break down as a character. I've only got the Silas breakdown um, toy. Uh, I haven't got the proper one from Prime because obviously it's hard to bloody find. Um, but I would be interested in this two pack, and as I say, it's nice that we are starting to get other subsets of um, of Transformers media, not just G1, which is absolutely great. Now there has been another leak. Of course, there's been a leak. Uh, every week there's a bloody leak. There's more leaks than on the Titanic. Um, but essentially, uh, with I know I always forget the names. Are we getting Runabout or Runamuck? Are we getting Runabuck as a white one? Or, I always forget. But we're getting the black one anyway. Uh, don't know in what line. Don't know if it's going to be a select. Don't know if it's going to be a uh, mainline figure or an exclusive. Not a clue yet. But these are two I really, really want. And, and really, we've really needed as collectors for a while. Uh, I really can't wait to, to get my hands on this mould. And I would like it repainted as well. I think there's, I know it's essentially the rework Sunstreaker and Wheeljack mould, but there's loads of potential. I mean, a lot of the drones in uh, Transformers Devastation were um, this, essentially this mould. So it'd be great to pick up a few of those and army build something uh, if we wanted to do that. But yeah, there's, there's some really cool stuff uh, on the horizon again, and I think the great thing is at the moment, even though there are a lot of reveals, um, there, there is there's a lot of variety, I suppose, and you don't have to get everything. If you're a completionist for the entire line, then you might want to do that, but um, yeah. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff out there. Now the one thing that is pissing me off a little bit, and I'm sorry for swearing, is this bloody Tom Tom bloke. Um, and it's not just him, it's all the people that are, that are getting hands on these stolen toys. And, and basically, I've, I've been reading the comments, and the comments are basically saying, oh, he pays for them. But if you, if you buy stolen goods, that's just as bad. If you bought a stolen phone and the police found out it was stolen, they confiscate it because it's stolen goods. And this is what they're doing, basically. And I feel that they're actually ruining part of collecting there because they are exposing people like Tonton, explo exposing these products, number one, before they're officially announced, so we lose a little bit of hype and excitement um, that we can share together in, in a fandom over a real event with real photos. Um, and also, there are obviously some unfinished products or, or prototypes or bits are missing off them. Like I've noticed there seems to be a, miss, a, a shield missing off Warpath. I've heard someone comment there. Uh, maybe they're not quite at the standard that they're going to be at before they're released. So this is this is where we really need to... I really wish they'd come down on them, to be honest. I mean, Tonton has now released Rat Trap. Cheetor, Black Arachne and Warpath all before the line has even has even really been before it's been announced officially as a toy line I know we've got Kingdom announced as the in the War for uh, Cybertron trilogy on Netflix through the coding on the um, on some of the posters but it hasn't been officially revealed as a toy line I, think, I find that really sad that we're not going to have that excitement um, and I don't, let me know if you think I'm being a bit dramatic and everything like that. Um, you might feel that uh, oh, I'm, I'm just happy to see them whenever they're leaked. Um, but for me, I think it's nice to have them at certain intervals. And at the moment, it just feels too much. And I think they, they for me anyway, me personally, my opinion, they are ruining a little bit of the collecting thing for me. Anyway, right, I'm not far away from Smith's now. I've rambled on for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go into Smith's and uh, shall we have a little bit of a hunt while we're in there? And I apologise for the grotesque camera angle for the last 10 minutes. So, I've got him. Um, that was crazy in there. They have restocked stupidly. I'll try and put um, some of the photos and the videos I took while I was in there over the top of me talking over it really um but 
so many so smoke screens so so many smoke screens i i haven't seen that many of one figure just arriving in one go he, he might end up being the bloody peg warmer of, of the of the line there's that many smoke screens the must i think i counted about 12 in total that weren't there when i last came here to pick up snapdragon circa a week ago so loads of smoke screens in warsaw if you want a smoke screen get down there and go and pick it up um also uh, a load of snapdragons as well um they seem to have loads and loads of snapdragons at least six or seven on the shelves when i had a flick through uh, they seem to have also restocked some of the leaders so um they've still got the same amount of double dealers but they seem to have a load of optimus primes astro trains and also voyager star screams absolutely loads of them um but there was one quintesson on the shelf so no one had, i'm the first one to buy one from war so that's for sure because they only had two in stock one of them is sitting there on the shelf and i've got one of them in the car now um so it was really really cool to see it on the shelf i did exactly what the same i did with snapdragon i went down to the section first had a look for him to see it in the flesh before i went i went to click and collect to pick up mine it would have been cool just to drive up and pick it up off the shelf but I suppose I wanted to be sure that my journey wasn't wasted, if that makes sense. Uh, and I know my indicator's going off here, so sorry about the ticking in the background. Hopefully the lights will change in a minute. Um, but there were there was some other stuff there as well, which was worthwhile noting. Um, Star Wars-wise, they seem to have restocked a few pieces of that. Not so much the Black Series stuff, but definitely some more of these. Uh, is it Mission Fleet? So they had the Mando in, which I'm really tempted by. Really, really tempted to pick up um, that Mando. But I've left it for another day. Uh, I didn't need it today as such. Because, well, I've gone and I've I've, um, I've picked up a toy for today. Actually, I've got a couple of toys at home, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but, yeah, it looks quite cool, actually. I've got the Boba Fett ver uh, version of the figure. This comes with a little baby Yoda and uh, also like a speeder bike and it, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So I, I will be probably picking up that at some point, just not today. I think it was about 15 quid. And they also had the dark saber in, which was really, really cool to see. Not something that I'm going to be buying, but you know what? It, it's always nice to see new toys on the shelf. I just really, really can't get over the amount that Smiths have restocked. And the amount of Earthrise figures that they've got in. I mean, not so much, you can see the Netflix siege numbers going down, even though they still have a load of Hot Links and Megatron. When Hot Link comes down in price, I probably will pick him up, but not at 40 quid, he's not worth 40 quid. Um, but yeah, uh, some cool stuff to see. Nothing really for Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends was a little bit of a, not so much a washout, but. Um, it's a stuff from the, the game of Earth. I know Smiths are starting to get the Venom wave in, which was quite interesting to see. Um, but yeah, it, it was cool, cool to see. Um, really enjoyed going on this little hunt. Uh, there was one more thing that I want to cover off actually about uh, news and releases that I forgot to talk about before uh, I got to Smiths. And that is that apparently Gigawatt well, not apparently because I've pre-ordered him. He's, he's going to be available in Smiths. He's £32.99, which is more expensive than your standard figure. Uh, standard deluxe, but still cheaper than uh, what Ectatron was. Because I think I paid 45 quid for that. Um, but yeah, so I've picked him up for uh, £32.99 pre-order. First time I've ever pre-ordered anything from Smiths. Um, but yeah pretty cool to see and cheers to borders dude for for letting me know about that one um but yeah this it, it's really cool what's happening at smith's at the moment because they're, they're essentially getting now uh, well getting to where toys r us were in my eyes they're starting to get some exclusives in like for example uh the gigawatt uh, back to the future a uh, crossover and also which has shocked me is that they're starting to get the mainline toys in like the Quintesson Judge around the same time 
or even before some of the major online retailers like your Capos, your Indemans, your Comics and Cocktails. So that to me is a, is a big win for retail and won't it be nice uh, to, to actually walk into a shop and pick some of these up? Yes, I know I click and collected it tonight, but won't it be nice just to be on a little bit of a browse, not pre-ordered anything and stumble across a wave that, that uh, hadn't been released before? That would be really, really cool. Anyway, I bet this video has waffled on enough. Um, so we'll cut now to see what else I've picked up this week. So I'm now back home. And that was a little fun little adventure uh, for our Wednesday night. Um, and here he is. Here is the Quintesson Judge himself. Um, really, really excited to, to pick up this figure. Um, it's odd. Because there isn't many toys where I haven't had a representation of the figure or the character. And this is one of them. I've never owned a Quintesson. Um, yeah. Mine does have a little mark on his teeth by the look of it. Which is a little bit disappointing. But it might wipe off. Uh, here's the box. Uh, there he is on the back. He obviously comes with his chair and his blaster. Um, shall we open him now? Let's, have it. Uh, let's open him up now. We might as well. Uh, I have got some parcels down there which I'm going to get to in a moment, um, but let's let's have a look at him, shall we? Um, as I said, there was two of them in Smiths, and uh, this is the one that they decided to put to one side for me. So, how he comes packaged? There is a planet on here, and I think we should have one of the red things around here somewhere. Here we go, my spare one. It says uh, Quintessa. So there we go, my monitor's just come on. Okay, so we've also got him packaged in his clamshell. And he comes with a couple of faces to attach, which is a little bit odd. Let's take these out. So here is the Quintesson Judge, all made up. You have to attach these two faces, which was a little bit difficult to work out without the instructions how to do it, to be honest. It's got this pretty cool gimmick where you can, if I can work out how to do it again, basically, I hope you, you take him off his blaster bloody effect. That was good, wasn't it, Rich? Uh, but yeah, what you do is you can spin the five faces of darkness, which is really, really cool. Um, as I say, you've got this, this blaster effect, which which is quite cool. They always walk about on a, on a beam of light and... But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely figure. It does come with more accessories as well. So it comes with a throne, uh, which you can pop the Quintesson Judge on. I think it has a port on the back. Mm. Have to work out how that goes, but it, that that does go on. Ah, there we go, it's that way around. So that ports onto the throne or the chair. He's his judge's chair. Uh, let's turn him around to. It's the face of death, there we go. So everyone knows the face of death is the most famous one. And he also comes with a blaster. So you can actually reenact that scene from um, The Return of Optimus Prime, which I'm really tempted to do. Um, Ultra Marcus told me earlier that I should get two of these and, and put one in uh, that kind of pose with Skylings, which would look absolutely awesome. But we will say. The gun, I think, pegs onto one of these these little pegs here, I think. Yeah, like so. So, yeah, there you go. A little sneaky look at the Quintesson Judge. That's not it. Uh, as I say, I have had a couple of parcels delivered. The first one, pre -order, a pre-order of a figure that, to be honest, at the time I wasn't collecting. I've since bought... Three of these from this line and then I went and pre-ordered another four but this was kind of the point where I thought well if I'm going to get into this line I may as well pre-order this because it's an exclusive and then I could always shift it on if, if I if I wasn't into the line there's enough of my friends who, who would have been um, so it's a big box there could be two items in here but I think there's only the one it is the G.I. Joe Classified Series, Cobra Island, Baroness. Um, 
Oh, this thing looks lovely. I wasn't too sold on the cycle, to be honest, but it looks pretty good in hand. And the Baroness figure looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, have a look at her there. She looks absolutely great. Um, it's got, uh, obviously, Cobra Island on the back. Um, she comes with two heads, like a motorcycle helmet head and a standard head. Uh, a snake to go around the wrist, the dagger, some guns. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And I know this is really hard to find, uh, hard to come by. And I pre-ordered it from uh, Kapow Toys. Um, and I've delivered the goods, so happy to have that one. I might do a review of that. Now, this item, second item that's come today. I didn't forget I ordered it, but I kind of did. Um, and this is all because, <laughs> all because I, um, on last week's Week in Toys, I was talking about Double Dealer, and I was talking about a selects figure, or series of figures that I missed, and Grand Collector 75 contact me and went, oh, this, this company's got them in such stock. Till all on one toys, never heard of them before. Um, I think it's a small, small business. Um, but Graham basically said to me, Oh, well, I've got them in stock. They were a little bit more than I wanted to pay, they were 30 quid. Um, and the box is teeny tiny. It is, you can't even see what it is on there. It's open up, I think you'll know what it is. It is the Selects cassette set. So we've got a Rumble or a friend's... Uh, Rumble is blue to me, so I'll call him Rumble. Uh, we have, I think that's a... Is it a wing thing? Um, a Sound Blaster cassette. And these two here are actually cassette representations of the Micro Masters that came with Double Dealer. So I actually complete my Double Dealer. Um, and speaking of Double Dealer, I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, because... Um, I've been playing around with him, and if it wasn't for the QC issues that I have, I know some people have contacted me on Instagram saying theirs is fine, mine isn't, it would be an amazing toy. I've been playing around with this um, and the G1, and the transformation is so similar, um, and the bird modes are not far off each other, it's crazy. It's just a shame that QC isn't quite right on the joints on my one. And I'm not saying it's on all of them, but on my one. It's some of the worst QC I've seen um, this this year from a toy. Um, but I've got the two uh, cassette boys to, well, Power Master boys to go with him. So that kind of finishes that set as well. And also I'll get a rumble. Now, what it means is that I am two cassettes short still. There is a, uh, I'm going to call it Frenzy, the blue one, and a wrap back cassette that I missed from Siege. Um, I might have to order those from China, uh, unless anyone wants to have them on to me, of course. But there you go, what an epic day. Um, five Transformers, a uh, Cobra figure and vehicle. Can't really go wrong at that. Um, I wonder what else the week will bring. So today is Thursday the 10th of September and I've had another three parcels turn up today. Uh, one of them is my monthly, probably wasting 20 quid because I'll never read the um, Hatchet Paperworks collection. So yeah, we've got um, we've got First Strike. I think, that, is that like the, the multiverse one with Rom in? I, I might be completely wrong. Or was that Revolutionaries? I can't remember. But we've got First Strike. Um, I think it's more of a modern one. And then we've got G.I. Joe vs. Transformers uh, Volume 1, which is pretty cool. Issue 95. I think it's going to 100 now. So um, I think, yeah, I think it's going up to... Uh, to about a hundred, um, so I think there's probably another five or six months worth of this. I don't know if they're going to stop it or just keep going into the new, um, into the new Transformers comics that have just come out. I don't know, but yeah, here we go. So I've got those two um, first ones this month. Um, normally I only get two a month, but sometimes I decide to take the money bloody twice and send me four. Um, next parcel is from the lovely people at Capow Toys, and. Uh, Yesterday I had Baroness arrive, which was really exciting. And today I've got another Geo General Um I mean uh, Dave Shot were talking about this. Um that Kapow have actually sent over 
Um, these two parcels within two days of each other. Yes, I pay for the postage, but it's a bit of a waste of boxes, especially the Baroness box. It was massive, could have fit this in. And we're talking about an idea um, that oh, maybe if you could pay a subscription to Kapow for a year's worth of postage, like 20 quid a year, then we could all save money in the long run. And uh, I don't know, maybe it would help with more orders. Or just do what Comic and Cocktails do and add the prices to the bloody, um, the postage fees to the, uh, to the cost of the figure. But anyway, digressing. In this box is another G.I. Joe figure. It's another pre-order. And, yes. It's lovely. It's the G.I. Joe Cobra Trooper. Now, it is really tempted to army build these. Um, I believe, well, this is obviously the, the exclusive that is really hard to come by. Uh, thanks to Kapar for getting it out to me. Um, and, yeah, I know they are going to release him in the main line, I think. But obviously there's going to be some differences. But I'm happy I've managed to pick up one of the exclusive ones. I think that's really, really cool. Um, so that is now my, is it fifth G.I. Joe figure? Um, I haven't opened Baroness yet, she's, she's still here. I'm going to take my time opening these because I think the flurry of the start of the month toy buying is probably going to come to an end now for the next couple of weeks. Uh, there probably won't be that much coming in. Um, also, I have another parcel. Now this was... I got this from Toys R Us, and this was a figure I missed the boat on. I missed the pre-orders on. I was going to buy it when it was out, but this is just as things were starting to get really bad the last couple of months of where if you don't pre-order something, you don't bloody get it. Anyway, I was looking around and I saw one on eBay for 35 quid, which is about £10 more than retail, and that was the bid on it Plus, uh, at the time, if you get a free postage. Anyway, I previously signed up to loads of sites saying, inform me if this comes back in stock, and just as the, the, uh, the day uh, before the bid was due to end, uh, Toys R Us got this figure back in stock for the standard price of like 21 quid, 21.99, something like that. So I cancelled my eBay bid from that scalper. <laughs> and uh, I've got this. This should have been the first figure I bought from this line. Um, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't pre-order it. I missed the boat. And I'm happy I, ha I actually have this now. So I genuinely, genuinely thought I wouldn't have it. And uh, it's G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. Um, I really, really wanted this figure. Snake Eyes was probably my favourite character and one of my favourite G.I. Joe toys of when I was a kid. And he's iconic. Um, it would have been nice to get the special edition one, but uh, in my opinion, this figure looks better. Uh, yes, the accessories are better with the special edition one, but you know what? This this looks great. And I only need Roadblock from Wave 1 now. I'm still missing a beach head and I'm missing a... Um, the special edition roadblock. I don't need two of them. I'm probably going to get the, the one from Wave 1. I would like a beachhead now. I've missed the boat a little bit on that. But we'll see. Um, there might be. He might get released. I'm not a fan of his guns. I think that's what put me off. Um, the other thing is. Uh, I opened these guys up. The cassettes from uh, the other day. I've got a bloody factory error on, on my. I'm going to call him Rumble. Because he's blue. And Rumble is blue. Uh, but Frenzy, as he's called on the pack. So you see his leg moves forward and back, like so, like it should. This one has been assembled at an angle, and it moves really oddly. Um, so I'm now having a discussion with the, the company, tell all I'm on. They've said that I can send it back, but they've got no more in stock. Um, so I'm having a chat with them, see if they could do something for me. Um, as this wasn't the figure that I really wanted to buy the set for, it was... Um, the the, the um, Power Master cassettes that should go with Double D. I've got dirt all over me from the child. Uh, anyway, so there you go. There's a few more toys. Um, it's been a bit of an epic week, hasn't it? It's been a bit of a G.I. Joe focused week. Even my hatchet paperwork's are, are G.I. Joe focused. Um, but yeah, it's been a cool one, hasn't it? Some really cool Transformers. And I think for the rest of the month, um, these videos will probably be primarily focused around the releases that are coming out. We've got that Hasbro Con. Uh, in, a, in a week or two or something like that. And then just if anything turns up at Smith's, I'll, I'll still be looking at picking up those if that happens. Um, but yeah, anyway, until next time, I've been Zork Rider and I'll uh, catch you again soon.